Hey there, we're back with Sean Marshall from Cone Health. She's talking about flu shots and why it's so important to get yours. Uh, we were talking about some of the symptoms and side effects you might have after a shot. A lot of people just say, hey, I'm gonna roll the dice, I'll risk it, I don't wanna go through that. Why is that a bad idea? Well, the, the side effects that you can get from the shot are mild compared to if you actually got the flu. And I think sometimes that gets minimized, um, maybe because people have had pre previous experiences where they've had a mild flu or know someone has had the flu and gotten over it. And that may be true. And, and we hope that that's true, but the potential of it to cause serious complications and hospitalizations are just not worth not getting the shot um, to take your chances. If that, you know, I hope that makes sense. And I think a lot of people forget that folks actually die from the flu every year. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of things can you do to try to make those side effects better though? Cause they're still not pleasant. Right. They're not, and um, if, if they are bothersome, if you do develop any of them, you could take an over-the-counter um, pain reliever such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Sometimes you can apply ice to the site of the shot, you know, if it's still sore. Another thing that helps a lot too is moving your arm a lot to just kind of help work out some of that soreness. Um, and rest, rest is always a good, good solution to when we're not feeling well and staying hydrated. Okay, so where do you get this flu shot and do you have to have an appointment? So Cone Health actually has five community pharmacies that are offering the flu shot. Some of the sites do require an appointment, others just take walk-ins. So if you're interested in getting it at one of the community pharmacies, I would recommend calling the location you're interested in before going. Um, and then also you could get it at your doctor's office and that would also require um, an appointment. Are there any drawbacks to getting your flu shot and the COVID booster at the same time? There are actually no drawbacks. It's, um, it's perfectly fine to get them both together. We have administered many at the pharmacies together. Sometimes people get them in the same arm and some get them in opposite arms. And we've had um, good results from giving them both together. Are there any concerns about people who are catching COVID and flu at the same time? That's a very good question. The main concern with um, co-infection with COVID and with the flu is just the potential to have um, more serious complications or um, more serious, um, I guess, downstream effects of it. And so increasing the risk or the likelihood of hospitalizations and or death. So the main thing is that you really want to get vaccinated against both of them to help prevent getting, getting those infections. Why is it so important to get that COVID booster? A lot of people are fatigued, they don't care anymore. What would you tell them? Well, with the new bivalent booster, it covers the, the strains that the previous vaccines didn't cover. And so I, I, I would say get it so that way, even if you've gotten the other ones and got the other booster, you have, you're, you're giving yourself more protection against the new variants that are out there. Well, thank you so much. And then, Anything and oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. I just you said you know they're they're tired and it makes you feel bad and it does, but still that doesn't compare to actual COVID infection. So that's mild and doesn't last long, whereas the COVID, the actual COVID infection can last longer. Well, thank you so much. I've got to book my appointment for my flu shot and COVID booster soon. I think you got some good points there. Mm -hmm.